We are here at the garden tomb. I am gonna see if I can take you a little closer to it. I have to kind of go in private from the group. It's down there. And we're of course there are a few places that are said to be where Jesus was entombed and then ascended. Um, this is one of two that are said to be those places. It's got quite a beautiful energy. And today we visited as well the Garden of Gethsemane, where there are very ancient olive trees. And what struck me about the Garden of Gethsemane, and even here, is there's quite a beautiful energy for what, of course, was such a monolithic tragedy. And our guide said, reminded us that when, when the Romans came for Jesus, Ju Judas said that the man that you shall arrest, I will kiss on the cheek. And Judas kissed Jesus on the cheek. And of course it was the ultimate in betrayal and treacherous acts. And yet it is also what was the deliverance of the Christ action. So the ultimate treachery is what delivered Jesus into the hands of his beloved father. Of course, I'm not diminishing the fact of the torture of the crucifixion one moment and we should all remember the price that was paid for our retribution and yet there is also the opportunity to look and to say what is the beauty what is the opportunity that comes from that which seems like the ultimate trespass what is how can I use what occurs to my spiritual advancement and as we've been visiting these sites of Jesus and of saints, we see that what is common with them is their indomitable strength and ability to use everything that occurs to their spiritual growth and their unshakable faith. We visited the convent of a saint that was possessed by Satan for 40 days. And she, instead of saying anything against God, she just kept asking for God's mercy. And it's said that Satan asked to leave her before the 40 days because she could not be shaken. and. God would not allow it because he said the little Arab, she was an Arab, a Palestinian saint, Saint Miriam, uh, would, will beat you. And indeed she did. So it's just these inspiring stories of trusting that we must keep going, that all that occurs is really for us, really for us, not to us. So let's hear if Jesus has any words for us at this time. I am rising, always rising within you still, even in your moments where you are insecure, seeking from another, seduced by the world, mesmerized by enchantments, Still, I am rising within you. Simply go within, turn, and observe the thought, the feeling, the action that will carry you into my embrace upward. You had the opportunity in each moment. Choose this moment, whatever that is. And I mean very specifically that can lift you 
up into the embrace of the Christ. Perhaps it is gratitude, perhaps it is forgiveness, perhaps it is clearing away of a limiting belief, perhaps it is self-care, perhaps it is prayer, meditation, contemplation, whatever that is. Choose it now. And allow these small actions to multiply. And sometimes it will require a great action. This then is the holy water upon which you may walk, bringing into fruition the beautiful garden, the harvest of souls, which was seeded 2,000 years ago, and of course, with the inception of man, is bearing fruit, even every moment you choose love. Amen. Oh.